Hello everyone, we are back. Final episode of the CD collection entire Atticus Dini series. We have been listing my CDs in order from A or number to in this episode, we go to Z, obviously, because it's the end of the alphabet. Even though, spoiler alert, I don't have any CDs that end in Z. Um, I think it goes up until W. We are at this final episode. So, yeah, I hope y'all have enjoyed this whole thing. We're starting off with Tame Impala Currents. This is a classic of the 2010s. Probably Tame Impala's most popular album. This is what got me into them, and I had to pick it up. Favorite song on here is probably New Person, Same Old Mistakes. Next up, we have James Taylor, Gorilla. I learned about this album because of the song Mexico. Shout out Jeremy Zucker. And I went on a chase for a while trying to find the cd and for some reason it was like very hard to find but now i have it this is probably my favorite james taylor cd not that i know that many it's a very solid old album favorite song on there is probably mexico or wandering okay next up we have a duplicate tennis swimmer one regular copy that i listen to and one that is dead stock my friend Bay told me about this band and they're very solid. It's a duo, I think. Two of these CDs because I bought one and then my brother got me one for Christmas because he didn't know that I had it. And unfortunately, I already had it. Favorite song on here is probably Runner. The whole first half of that CD is like so good though. Next up, we have Thundercat Drunk. I remember when this came out and I wasn't a huge fan, but nowadays I do think it's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely kind of funny, which I think is holds me back a bit from like really liking it, but the talent is there and Thundercat definitely is a good songwriter. Favorite song on here is probably Walk On By. Next up, we have Bryson Tiller Trap Soul. I've actually had this CD for a very long time. I got this when I was in Canada a long time ago, just cause I had heard of Bryson Tiller a lot and I figured I would try it out. It's never been one of my favorites, but like it's pretty good. Favorite song on here is definitely one of the hits. I'd probably say Exchange over Don't. Next up, we have 2088, which is Big Sean and Janae Aiko. It's self-titled. This was one of the best first listen experiences I remember like ever having. I was in the car with with my parents they were driving home from an airport at like midnight i was listening to this in my earbuds especially for like a late night in the car type of ride it just fit very well i don't listen to it a lot now but it is good favorite song is deja vu that song definitely needs to go down in history next up we have the beginning of a, a bit of a collection something that i didn't really try and achieve but somehow i wound up with all of these cds starting it off is goblin tyler the creator's first album i bought this at long in the tooth in philadelphia it's an okay album it's very long favorite song on here is probably she then next up we have wolf tyler's second album one of my friends bought me this and this is what completed my collection the box doesn't have a track list on it and i don't really remember which song is which so i don't know if i can give you a favorite song right now next up we have cherry bomb this is tyler's third album and this is that alternate cover which actually is on spotify now which was kind of annoying i liked having the alternate cover cd this one's honestly pretty good i like this album a lot my favorite song on here as of right now is two seater next up we have flower boy or Scumfuck Flower Boy. This was the first Tyler album that I think I heard in full. Despite having heard of Tyler since Goblin was coming out, this was the first album I actually listened to in full. And it's definitely solid. I can see why this one like really shot his career into a different direction. Favorite song on here is either Pothole or Dropping Seeds. Next up, we have Tyler the Creator, Igor. This is probably my favorite Tyler album. This is also an album where like, I think it is a story and it just feels like you're listening one too, even if you're not like fully paying attention and like decoding every single song. Favorite song on here is probably the first one or I think. Also, this has Boyfriend the uh the unreleased song and finally we have call me if you get lost tyler baudelaire shout out tyler baudelaire this album is also really good this might be my second favorite i got this in the box set make sure to go watch that unboxing video it did pretty well favorites on there are juggernaut will shire and probably uh lumberjack next up we have u2 atch to Atch Tongue Baby. My friend Ian got me for this. He's big on YouTube. He told me I would like this. I have not had a favorite track yet though. Next we have U2, All That You Can't Leave Behind. Another one that Ian gave to me. And again, I don't have a favorite song yet. Next up we have Underworld, Dirty Epic Cowgirl. I've been saying this since the first or second episode, but my friend Bay picked up a bunch of CDs off the street one day and this was one of them. It's literally only two songs, Dirty Epic and Cowgirl. Just a lot of different versions and like remakes. Mixes. I don't have a favorite track. Next up, we have Vampire Weekend, Modern Vampires of the City. I definitely was not big on this when it came out, and I don't really know much about Vampire Weekend, but my friend Ian had this and he gave it to me. But it's kind of crazy. It's like signed by the members. I don't know if it's all the members. And then on the back, it says promotional copy vampire weekend this definitely is worth something so ian if you want this back you can always have it back but i'm holding on to it for now no favorite song though i don't i don't really know this album that well next up we have vampire weekend father of the bride this is the vampire weekend album that i'm the most familiar with it is pretty sick i remember when it came out i was really hype on it and a lot of the singles were insane favorite song in here is definitely harmony hall or this life both those songs are 
beautiful. My Mistake is also really good. Sympathy is good. Sunflower is really good. Very solid album. And we're getting into the various artist compilation albums. We only have three of them, but so far so good. Diamond Dog Collection. Diamond Dog is a record label run by students at Drexel University that I know. I went to an event and they were giving away these CDs. It has six songs, two from Ehan, two from Christina Nicole, and two from CJ Parker, all who I'm friends with. Shouts to all of them. I'm not going to say a favorite track because that would be mean. Next, we have another various artists, Ohm Sampler. Again, this is from the collection of CDs that my friend Bay found on the street. Street. I don't remember what song was which, so no favorite song. Next up, we have Suzanne Vega, Solitude Standing. My mom has been a fan of Suzanne Vega. I'm pretty sure she's met her before. I saw that Tom's Diner's on here, and that song is pretty legendary. She's pretty cute on the cover, too. I think my favorite song on here is Luca. Next up, we have Kurt Vile, Smoke Ring for My Halo. Kurt Vile is an artist who is tied to Philly a lot, and that's part of why I like him. But also, he does that cool blend of, like, folk indie country. Probably the closest I'll come to, like, liking a full country album. I don't have a favorite song, though. Honestly, I can't remember remember which one's which and there's no track list on here but it's a good album next up we have some cds i've made under the name wayo it started when i was in high school with my friends and now i've just been doing it solo for a while this is sad in the summer wayo 2 this is our second album this one's no longer on spotify but i do think it was pretty good favorite song on here is probably see you later next up we have tukas this was my 2021 album and this was mostly solo we made five of these little cds to give to my friends and i guess i have number five out of five this album's pretty solid it's also got a deluxe which has like a bunch of other songs. I kind of forget what we put on here, but I'm gonna say favorite song in here is Taxi. And then I have a Steal My Shirt maxi single. I put out a single called Steal My Shirt at the beginning of 2022. This CD just has a bunch of other versions. Favorite version is probably the one that we put out. Next up, we have Washed Out, Purple Noon. I'm not super familiar with Washed Out, but I had heard a couple songs that I really liked, so I gave a full CD a try, and it's good. It kind of sounds like the same song over and over, not gonna lie, but it's a good song, and I don't really have a favorite. Next up, we have Faye Webster. I know I'm funny haha -ha. saw Faye Webster live with my friend Lena back in 2021 and I had heard of her a little bit but I was impressed enough at the show to buy a CD favorite song on here is probably a dream with a baseball player next up we have the weekend star boy shout out Jack McKechnie I think he bought it clean so it's clean which sucks this is probably my favorite full-length weekend album though I will say favorite song on here is probably secrets or star boy I don't know there's a lot of good songs on here. and next we have the weekend my dear melancholy I think this EP is criminally underrated. This has so many great songs. All in all, I might say this is my favorite weekend project. Favorite song on here? Wasted Times or I Was Never There. We only have a few more left here and we're getting into another little discography of one artist. We have Kanye West, College Dropout. I've always thought Kanye was an amazing artist um, musically. And over the past couple years, he's put his fans through hell trying to figure out if they can still like him or not or if they do still like him or not, even just like off of a personal level and musical level to be honest. I've held on to this one though because it's a classic. I got it for like two bucks at a thrift shop. This box is so hard to read, but I'll probably say favorite songs either Never Let Me Down, All Falls Down, or Family Business. Next up, we have Kanye West, 808s, and Heartbreak. I found this a really long time ago at a Goodwill for like $2. Probably one of my favorite Kanye albums. It has been for a while. Favorite song on here is probably either Say You Will or Robocop. Finally, for the Kanye, we have yay this is also probably one of my favorites probably top three for kanye favorite song on here is probably either yikes or no mistakes to be honest ghost sound is also a absolute classic as well can't disrespect that one we're on to the last two of the collection and these are both pretty odd to be honest we have paul westerberg stereo i nabbed this from my dad it's a double album and i don't really remember how any song specifically goes so no favorite song finally we have lucinda williams essence single essence is an album by lucinda williams it looks very similar to this, but this is a single version with just the album version of the song Essence and a clean edit. My parents used to play this CD a lot when I was a kid, so I kind of remember it and I have this like cover ingrained in my mind. Obviously, my favorite song on Essence is Essence. And there we have it. The CD collection is done. The past videos have actually been doing really well recently, so I hope these videos just continue to like accumulate views as they go on. I've already gotten some CDs since I started this thing, so be on the lookout for like an updated version of this sometime soon. I will be continuing the CD content because I feel like that's what y'all want. But yeah, thank you again for watching. I will see y'all later. Good bye.